this video, let us continue to solve problems based on grouped frequency distribution. The weights in grams of 50 oranges picked at random from a consignment are as follows. These are the weights in grams of 50 oranges. That means 50 weights, different weights are there in grams. Some may be repeated as well, of course. Now, form the grouped frequency table by dividing the variable range into intervals of equal width each corresponding to 20 grams in such a way that the mid value of the first class corresponds to 70 grams. So now, the question is very clear. We need to divide the variable range in intervals of equal width and each corresponding to 20 grams in such a way that the mid value of the first class corresponds to 70 grams. So now size of each class is clearly given as 20 and the mid value of the first class is given as 70. Now we know that if A is the mid value of the class, let's say this is A, 70 is A, the mid value of the class and H is the class size that is 20 in this case. So then how do you find the lower and the upper limits? So the lower and the upper limits are in that case A minus H by 2, this is the lower limit and a plus h by 2 is the upper limit. So here we have 70 is a minus 20 by 2 which is the lower limit and 70 plus 20 by 2 as the upper limit. So the lower limit here is 70 minus 20 by 2 is 10. So 70 minus 10 is 60 and the upper limit is 20 by 2 is 10. 10 plus 70 is 80. So the lower and the upper limit respectively are 60 and 80. So therefore, the first class interval will be 60 to 80. You can also clearly see that the size of the class is 20 grams and the mid value 60 plus 80, which is 140 divided by 2, that is 70. So we've done what was given here. So now in view of all these things, let us draw the frequency distribution of the weights of oranges. So we first need weights in grams and then we need the tally marks as usual and then we need the frequency which we obtain from the tally marks drawn so now we've got the weights as starting off from 60 to 80 and then the maximum being 220 so let us go on to 220 so this is exclusive method as you can see 60 to 80, 80 to 100, 100 to 120, 120 to 140, 140 to 160, 160 to 180, 180 to 200, and 200 to 220. So the tally marks here, before that, let us draw the table here. So the tally marks for 60 to 80 is 5. The tally marks for 80 to 100 is a 13. So we need 5, 5. So you are actually supposed to count everything and put them into the class. Now since that's going to be very time consuming for me, I'm straight away writing the tally marks. So here we go now. Between 60 and 80, we've got 5. Between 80 to 100, we've got 13. Between 100 to 120, we've got 17. Between 120 to 140, we've got 10. We've got just 1 between 140 and 160. None or zero between 160 and 180. We've got three between 180 and 200, and then we've got just one between 200 and 220. So there are like 50 oranges. So these should be 50 readings. So 5 plus 13 gives us 18. 18 plus 17 gives us 35. 35 plus 10 gives us 45. 45 plus 1, 46. 46 plus 3, 49. 49 plus 1, 50. So here we have the grouped frequency distribution of the given data of the weights of 50 oranges in grams. So this ends the video on grouped frequency distribution.